In this video, we will learn how to use Contact Form in GetShop Today's platform. To use Contact Form or any other module, we first need to add a column. So let's click on Add Column. You can choose any of these column sets according to your design choices. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to choose number 12. Click on Add Module and choose Contact Form. Now here you can see that three different fields have already been added. So if I just simply click on Save, the contact form will be saved. Now click on Update. Let's go back to the front end and refresh. You can see that the contact form has been added to this page. Now let's say we want to add a new field, similar to the fields called Name, Email, Message, which are already here. So if you want to add a new field, again, go back to the admin panel and click on this edit icon. Here you can see add field and field type. Field type means what type of field you want. Here you have many different options available. By default, it will give you a text field where you can write only one line of text. Another option is text area, which will allow you to write a paragraph of text or multiple lines of text. And then if you choose radio button, that will allow you to create a radio button. When I select radio button, I also have to enter field name and field label. I will put the same text here. Also here is instruction field. You can write an instruction if you do have any instruction. And here is a field called value. As our question is, do you know how to design a website? The answers can either be yes or no. Your answers yes and no each represent a value and each value has to be separated by a comma. Therefore, I'm going to write here yes, comma, no. Save and refresh. Now I can see that the new fields have appeared here. If you think this is not an appropriate place for these fields and you would like to put them, for example, under the email, then simply click on edit, then click on top of this new field, which is the radio button that we just created, and then drag it and drop it underneath the email and on top of the message field. Now save. Go back to the front end and refresh. Here you can see that the field is now where it is supposed to be. Now let's go back to the admin panel and click on edit. Here you can see the settings. In the settings you can determine what will be the form title. Here we can see the option title show or hide. If you tick this checkbox then the title will be shown and if you untick it, then the title will not be shown. Next, let's talk about email. Here you can set an email, and this email will be the one where the filled in form will be sent to. Let's look at the thank you message. In this field, you can type in the thank you message that you want to appear for the user after they have filled in the form and submitted it. Let's say this is just a simple contact form. In this case, we can write, thank you for contacting us. We will get back to you soon. If it is a different type of form or your form has a different purpose, you can write a different kind of message here. This is how you can use contact form module in the GetShop Today e-commerce platform. Thanks for watching.